green building is all about reducing the environmental footprint of buildings. What's new is a fairly recent explosion of interest in green building. What that means is that the construction sector is thinking a lot more carefully about environmental consequences of decisions in putting together a building, and it means that manufacturers really need to have a clear understanding of the environmental profile of their products. How do we know if a product is green? We can't really know unless we do a proper environmental profile, and that means looking closely at all of the environmental inputs and outputs involved with the product. So that's a rigorous process. It's called life cycle assessment, or LCA. Life cycle assessment quantifies the environmental impacts of a product over its entire lifetime. So that includes everything from extraction of the raw resource through manufacturing, transportation, construction with the product, use of it and maintenance, and eventually final disposal or recycling. We can use life cycle assessment to understand the, some key metrics like embodied energy and greenhouse gas emissions. Embodied energy is the energy that is involved in manufacturing and using a product. Wood products tend to have very low embodied energy when we consider wood in the context of alternate materials, and that's because the basic raw material is primarily manufactured by nature, and it takes very little work to extract it and turn it into a usable product. The energy that is used in wood manufacturing largely comes from wood waste that is generated on site at the mill instead of fossil fuel. And that wood waste is a renewable energy source that's also carbon neutral. Green building is becoming more and more important and a big part of that is going to be wood. Not only because it's renewable, but because of the uh, interesting environmental profile that we know through LCA and because of the carbon sequestration properties.